This is Pebble Beach, one of the most gorgeous golf courses in the world. Pristine fairways and white sand bunkers stretch out along a picturesque cut of the Pacific coastline in Monterey, California. It's absolutely stunning here. You know, I've seen Pebble Beach Golf Course on TV dozens of times, but until I actually came here and saw it in real life, I didn't realize how much I was missing. And it's not just the uh, scale of the place or the span of the views. It comes down to little details like the different specific hues of greens and blues and the reflection of the sun off the water. You can even see coral down there. Those are details that TV just couldn't reproduce until now. With the advent of 4K HDR TVs and tons of them going into people's homes today, the hardware is there. All the owners of these TVs really needed was for someone to step up and provide the content. Today, Digital Trends is going behind the scenes with DirecTV to take a look at how they produce this 4K HDR footage from the tee box to your television. Okay, so first, in case you came here for the golf and not the tech, here's HDR in a nutshell. It stands for high dynamic range, and for TV, it represents the ability to display a wider range of shades from dark to bright, and also more shades within the color spectrum. This means you get more detail in shadowed areas, more detail in intensity in bright areas, and more specific hues of colors in more levels of color intensity. In other words, far closer to what you see with your eyes in real life. First is next. Third shot is what about 17? For people who this time of year in February are in the Midwest, door shut, heater on, right? We want to try to attempt, if you can't be here in person, this is really an attempt to try to put the viewer here and experience it here. That's the end result HDR shoots for. But how exactly does HDR deliver that feeling? How does it connect us in a way we've not experienced before with standard TV? All you need to do is look at the water here. The shots that are wide that show the water and the different colors of blue. When you see the coral that is right there below the ocean, it's darker. And then there's lighter blue. And as the waves hit and crash over the rocks, I, that to me is what I don't think TV has ever shown as well. Cloud formation today is a pretty bright and clear day but your eyes perceive the different shapes of clouds. Typically, TV shows them as white blobs. The devil really is in the details. No matter how well-tuned your 4K HDR TV is, if it isn't getting HDR information, then it can't deliver colors the way that nature, or TV and movie producers, intended them to be seen. A lot of the so-called detail we hope to see with 4K really couldn't make it to our TVs without the benefit of HDR. Even the sand traps, I mean, seeing the flecks of sand right. and the grains of sand, mm -hmm. uh, the dimples on a golf ball, just little things that we started to notice with the way golfers actually mark their golf balls has mm -hmm. been you know, pretty amazing. And all of it is, uh, is all here for the viewer to see. What's great about HDR is that you don't have to lean in or squint to see it. The images and experience are familiar. You're just not used to getting it through your TV. When you've seen something so many times, your brain already knows what it should look like. Right. But when it's actually given more detail, you sit there and you just, you're trying to just kind of take it all in. It's uh, pretty exciting. So how do the folks at DirecTV get this kind of live broadcast HDR to their customers? And what does that tell us about the future of broadcast HDR? It involves an entirely different workflow, starting with the cameras that capture the action. They don't look much different than the broadcast cameras you might see your local news crews using. Camera operators you know, have had a little bit of a learning curve, but the shading piece um, and being aware of where to put the brightness levels has really been kind of mission critical to really make all this pop. Inside those cameras are 4K image sensors, and because they're capturing so much picture data, they can't just beam their signal via microwave transmission. These cameras are hardwired to production trucks, and from there, they're routed through a new advanced 4K HDR video switcher, which allows the producers to put together the broadcast. That that's more or less standard operating procedure, but then the producers get to master the image for HDR. To do it, they use a $45,000 Sony 4K HDR OLED monitor, the same kind that Hollywood movie studios use. But they also have a run-of-the-mill LG 4K TV to see what non-HDR will look like to folks who don't have an HDR TV. Turns out, it's still gonna look a whole lot better than standard broadcast. We're trying to engineer an image that's gonna be pleasing to everybody. One of the big benefits of the 4K 
format of HDR we're doing here, Hybrid Log Gamma, HLG, is that it's backward compatible with standard dynamic range TV sets. I obsessively watch what we do in HDR on that set mm -hmm. because I want to make sure that it does look good on a standard dynamic range set. From there, the signal goes to a broadcast center over an AT&T fiber optic network. Then it's beamed out to CBS affiliates, but it's direct TV customers who get it in HDR, just like they're getting some events from the 2018 Olympics in HDR. So it seems like they've got this process down pretty well. Why does it seem like it's taken so long to get HDR broadcast when streaming services and 4K Blu-rays have been doing it for a couple of years? You know, we've made great strides in two years, but there's still a big, big road to go down. It's, it's tough. There's a ton of bandwidth needed. Not only that, but the broadcast industry isn't used to working with fewer cameras. They like to have as many views as they can get. And you just can't use that many 4K HDR cameras with the way most production trucks are set up. So you wouldn't take paintbrushes from Picasso and expect the same picture. Same with these guys who have done productions one after another and they've had 30 cameras and 40 cameras and now you tell them you have 13, mm. right? Also, there still isn't a great distribution infrastructure in place. DirecTV is one of the few that can get 4K HDR to its customers. But, you know, if I'm putting on CBS's shoes for, for a moment here, there's no reason, if I'm CBS, to shoot everything in 4K when they don't have a way to distribute it. We kind of come along and help work with them and collaborate with them. And, you know, essentially we're pushing them, we're pushing all the technology partners to kind of continue to push this forward. Maybe the key to getting a better picture from all these broadcast channels isn't to jump straight to high bandwidth 4K. Just stepping up from the 720p you get now would be a big improvement. I think the first step with that in doing an entire production, at least in an enhanced sort of visual format, would be 1080p HDR. Mm -hmm. uh, we truly believe that HDR makes the difference. 1080p uh, HDR, I think, is a quicker, quicker road to getting a complete show. That makes a lot of sense. 1080p HDR is a step up in resolution. The cameras are there, the bandwidth is far lower, and people can really see that difference. Even if things were shot in 4K, delivering it in 1080p HDR would look a lot better. Man, I hope a year from now we're really in a position to talk about, you know, not only hopefully deriving the 4K HDR signal, but the broadcast partners we work with would look at benefits of having their HD format derived from it for better quality. With that in place, we can start talking about audio. DirecTV and others are working with Dolby to deliver immersive Dolby Atmos sound to these broadcasts. It started with the 2018 Olympics and we're gonna see it in more broadcasts this year as well. So not only is the picture you get from your cable and satellite providers finally catching up with your TV's tech and doing a better job of making you feel like you're really there, the audio component is coming along too. And DirecTV is going to continue to put its resources and experience to work pushing the rest of the industry to make sure you can see it in your home today.